All right, welcome back to my grounded level. I'm gonna just walk through some of the changes that I've made since last time I posted. Um, one of the changes I made was to add this little hill with these uh, stink bugs because one of the resources that was needed um, are the stink bug parts. So I added this little hill. Getting up to the hill is a little bit of a challenge for the players. I didn't want to just, you know, hand it to them. But once they get up there, there's three stink bugs. You would need um, a gas mask to successfully light them, um, which those are pretty easy to get. I added in a few more this landmark pieces as well. Um, I had talked about last time how this ending house was just too big and trying to find enough things to put in it and make it look good was challenging. So what I decided to do, I did go ahead and cut the size down some and I decided to go ahead and make it as if these termites have invaded this house. So like everything's kind of messed up, the walls are falling down, um, there's termites already in here, kind of still breaking stuff down. Uh, and then this boss fight in here, the Black Widow was challenging if you would get it unstuck, but the way that I had it, it was so big that it would just get stuck in this corner and then you could just shoot it and it was super easy. So I changed it to the Termite King instead. And I feel like that makes a little more sense since you're in this big kind of wood area. Um, and I added a few little Termite soldiers over here. So when the player comes in, this boss fight or mini boss fight makes a little bit more sense now to have the Termites. They're in here. Um, and then getting into the house, they've already kind of busted through and broken down the walls and everything. So um, this way I could kind of keep the elements that I felt were really important to the game um, and things like this sign it tells you what the character is supposed to be feeling at this point in the game, kind of um, just depressed and like, okay, do I go out there and try to fight that monster? Do I stay here? And then um, if you come over here, there's a little sign on the ground that talks about being infested with the termites, and I guess I have to go and face the mant. Um, if anybody else comes, you know, be prepared, all that stuff. So then um, that kind of helped with my house designing and everything. Um, I was able to keep this here. I like that has the clue of the skeleton, the mant throwing the fungus. Um, and then I do still have a little bit more to do in this room. Um, here's my little <laughs> Easter egg. Anyway, so then I did redesign down here a little bit and the termites have already gotten in down here. Um, they have eaten like the bottom half of the ladder, but you can still climb up the ladder if I'm in play mode. Um, so you can still get up to that top area. It's like the only place left the termites haven't gotten to. Um, that's the what I've done with this ending big house. The other big change that I've made since my last update is getting to the boss fight area. Um, I wanted to add in a little bit more of that big open space with all the grass. It, it didn't really do anything. It was just a big open space of grass. And I was like, eh, 
players are going to be like, what's the point of this? So instead, what I did, once you fall down into the pipe, um, I added more pipe. So uh, you'll run through pretty much, it's a pretty long section of pipe because trying to get to that lab area is really far away. Um, but I'm planning on adding more stuff in the pipe that eventually leads to what the boss fight's gonna be like. So the closer you get to the lab, there's gonna be more of that um, fungus stuff growing. And then once you get in the lab, there'll be fungus. There's gonna be dirt and all sorts of stuff in the pipe. Um, you can see like, up in this part of the pipe, you can't go up. It's covered with leaves and stuff. Um, but these mushrooms are growing. That's another thing that's going to go in that area is mushrooms. Um, possibly some other like little bugs. And then if you climb down the mushrooms and keep going, there's a whole bunch of like dirt and stuff that has fallen from the pipe. Um, more leaves and needles and stuff that block off this direction you can't go that direction there's only one way to go um and it's this way and now you're going like down down so you did a big climb kind of up and then you have to go down down and then you get to this dead end of the pipe but there's a broken spot we'll add in something here of like why this pipe is broken here um but then you're here at the lab. Uh, we'll go ahead. So this part will all be kind of covered in that haze fungus, um, which the bigger ones explode. So it'll be good for the player to kind of get used to timing the explosions. This room is going to have some, um, some more assets, things that the player might need, especially coming out of all that exploding fungus, like band aids and um, health boosts and then in this room i already added um some lint and stuff so like there's fans falling um and then there's going to be these dust mites that are also going to be needed so the room right before we leave um there is water there's a bed there's some chests that will have things and a workbench. So everything that the player has gotten to craft any sort of weapons, gear, anything like that, this can be like their prep room, heal up, and, you know, pretty much every game you play, you know there's a big boss fight coming when you're given lots of health items and a rest area and things like that. So um, that's kind of their clue that like, hey, this is this is again, this is where you're going to fight the boss. So then you go down the dark red hallway and you'll have the boss fight with the more fungus. We'll have more exploding ones kind of around the outside. Um, so that's kind of finishing up what I'll be working on this week is just finishing up all those last touches. Um, if time permits, I did have one of my playtesters mention that um, in the very beginning, he, he wanted to stay close to that first base and he wasn't able to find some of the resources for uh, the beginning tools. So my next design uh, choice thought process is going to be do I want to put the resources for them to craft those tools or do I want to just have a chest in that first base um, with a chest that's got like a beginning level shovel, axe, hammer, etc. Um, so I'm going to kind of just think that over. Hopefully we can I'll discuss that and see which is kind of the better option for this game right now i think i'm leaning towards just putting a chest in here with basic level gear um so that the player can get going and add the stuff to start exploring so this week it'll be more 
focusing on building through the end level stuff. I think that the beginning part of my level is mostly where I want it to be for now until we get into working on it just to work on it. <laughs> All right. If you have any comments or suggestions, please let me know.